Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Albert Serda and welcome to Albert Shares. Today we're going to be talking about a stock that's had a huge run up this past month and why I personally believe that's only getting started. The stock is called Workhorse Group. Now, before we get this video started, I want to make sure that everyone is in the clear that I am not a financial advisor. I'm only here to lay down some information, give you some facts, and give you my own personal opinions and speculations on it. Of course, I always advise everybody to do their own personal research before they make a financial decision. Now, with that being said, let's get it. So first thing is first, what and who is Workhorse? Workhorse Group is a technology company. The company is focused on providing solutions to the commercial transportation sector and focuses mainly on last mile delivery. Now, what is last mile delivery? To put it simply, last mile delivery is the movement of goods from a transportation hub or warehouse to its final delivery destination, which is basically delivering whatever you order off the internet from the warehouse to your house. Now, we're gonna go over the products without getting too much into detail, but mentioning some key points. They currently have two delivery vans on the road already, the E100 and the E-Gen which have seen more than 4 million miles on them already and are used by some of the premier package delivery companies in the world. They also have their new vans, which are 100% electric, called the C-Series, which include the C650 and the C1000. They also have delivery drones, which are called the Horsefly drones. They work in tandem with the delivery vans. Something huge about this is that Workhorse actually has a patent that covers any drone that is integrated with a delivery vehicle, which means that no other delivery vehicles besides workhorse vehicles are able to integrate a drone and use it for delivering purposes. Now, this is huge if you all understand the future of deliveries. And if you all don't, then let's just say that drone deliveries are going to become a lot more common than you think. With this patent, workhorse basically cuts out a lot of its competition in the future, or will force them to pay them for their patent use. Aside from that, Workhorse has also come out with an app making all their technology easier to use and track for the general public. Now, we're going to move on and explore some of the things that Workhorse has done so far. Workhorse has actually had some of its vehicles on the road already for some years. In 2018, UPS placed an order with them for 950 delivery trucks after an initial order of 50 test vehicles. UPS said it will save about $170,000 a van compared to a similar diesel delivery truck if it kept the same workhorse vehicles for 20 years, which is their expected lifespan. To put it into perspective, the cost to travel 100 miles would only be about $6. Workhorse also has a pretty hefty portfolio of blue chip customers that include the giants such as UPS, DHL, and FedEx. In November of 2019, Workhorse actually granted Lord Sound Motors a three-year exclusive license of certain intellectual property to be used in the Lordstown new electric pickup truck in exchange for an equity stake of 10% Lordstown Motors and a royalty of 1% of the gross sales price of the first 200,000 units sold, of which the company plans on start delivering in early 2021. You heard that right. Basically in like six months, Lordstown Motors plans on delivering the first ever electric pickup truck on the market that will be seen on the road. Now Workhorse is not a direct competitor to Tesla or Nikola, but they have also somehow put themselves in the market to beat out both of them in delivering the first electric pickup truck by early next year. And needless to say, the truck is pretty slick looking too. On a side note, Steve Burns, which is Workhorse's old CEO, is now the CEO for Lord Sound Motors. So I don't see that relationship ending anytime soon. Now, if that isn't making moves, then honestly, I have no idea what is. Workhorse has made such an impact already that I had even Trump tweeting about it last year. It brought up the stock over 200% just from the tweet alone. I can just see another tweet of another Workhorse accomplishment in the near future. Not only that, but Mike Pence was also at the unveiling of the Lord Sound Motors electric truck. So in a way, Workhorse has bipartisan support from the Republicans and the Democrats 
as Democrats are all for electric vehicles that help the environment. I can only see this company being the all-American electric vehicle delivering company. Moving on, in the past month alone, Workhorse joined the Russell 3000 Index, which will open up a lot more investment opportunities for them. Workhorse also successfully passed Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Test for its all-electric delivery vans this past month. And Workhorse managed to secure over $70 million financing from an institutional investor, which is also convertible into common stock at $19 per share, and the note doesn't even mature for three years. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't agree to a certain share price unless I saw the shares going up. Next thing that we're going to talk about, and in my opinion, one of the most important and exciting things, is the upcoming USPS contract. For those of you that don't know, Workhorse is in the bid along with three other companies for a contract with USPS that will deliver over 165,000 vehicles and will be worth $6.3 billion. That's right, billion. Remember that number. Some important things to note about this is that the contract was originally set to be due on March 27th, but has been extended until July 14th, which at the time of the making of this video is in a week. The original bid was first comprised of six companies. Since then, two have dropped out, which leaves Workhorse along with three other companies. Its three remaining competitors in this field consist of Mahindra, which is originally an Indian automaker and is working on a combustion engine and a hybrid mail truck. Next is Carson, which is a Turkish commercial vehicle manufacturer and is working with Michigan-based USPS supplier Morgan Olson on a plug-in hybrid mail truck. And last, we have Oshkosh, which is a military vehicle manufacturer that's teamed up with Ford. Now, USPS has stated that this contract can be split between multiple parties and the mail truck will be needed to be assembled in the U.S. Not only does Workhorse have a first mover advantage with its last mile delivery vehicles against its competitors, but it also is the only all-electric vehicle while its competitors are all currently working on hybrids. Workhorse also has scalable manufacturing ready in their plant located in Union City, Indiana, with the ability to produce over 60,000 vehicles per year, which enable a clear path to profitability. The extension of the contract has also allowed Workhorse to secure a significant amount of capital from its investors and has cleared the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Test for its all-electric delivery vans. All of this put together, in my opinion, puts Workhorse to be the first in line for this contract. Let's talk about the potential of the company for now. We're going to look at Workhorse's current market cap, which in my opinion, has unlimited potential for growth, especially once compared to the other EV companies. For this, we have to understand what a company's market cap is. A market cap refers to the total value of a company's shares of stock. It is calculated by multiplying the price of the stock by its total number of outstanding shares. Now, if we look at Workhorse today at the time of this video, the market cap is around $1.1 billion. This can be calculated by the price share, which is currently at 1544, times the total number of shares out, which is 70.6 million shares. If we compare this to another new EV company that has had a good run-up, Nikola, we can see that their market cap is currently at around over 15 billion, which again can be calculated by the amount of shares that are out, which are amazing, 360.9 million of them, times the current share price, which is currently $42.3. And this is after it recently went down from its $93 high, so the market cap was actually double that. And we can do the same thing with Tesla, which has 185.4 million shares out, and we can do the same thing with any other company. Now, I'm not saying not to believe in these companies, because I myself am also invested in a lot of these technology companies because, well, they're the future. All I'm saying is that just from simple math, you can tell by comparison that Workhorse has crazy amounts of potential to go up in share price, especially if they're able to secure the USPS deal that is worth $6.3 billion, which is more than six times their current market cap, which is $1.1 billion. Or even securing part of the contract would put this company on a fast track to growth. Now let's just say that Workhorse gets to an $8 billion market cap,
which I believe it can easily get to within the next few months. To do this, you would just go backwards in the equation. So you would take 8 billion, which is our target market cap, and divide it by the number of shares, which is 70.6 million. And you would get 113.31, which will be put the price of the share at $113.31. This is assuming the number of shares out stays at 70.6 million, which in my opinion would be for the best interest of the company to not release more shares as they can just sell some shares at a high price if they were to need extra capital or raise more money, which I doubt will happen regardless. Now, this is just math and math never lies. I tend to trust math a little bit more than just the opinions of people saying that the stock will come down because it went up too high already and vice versa. In reality, this company is making moves and they're making moves fast. They have working tested vehicles, are in talks for contracts, have a high production facility and are ahead of the game in their class. Companies like this don't need speculation on whether the public will buy their vehicles or not. They need contracts from big name companies, which I believe they're in the best position to get and very soon. Some dates to look out for are July 14th, which is the deadline for the USPS contract, and August 14th, which is the company's next estimated earnings date. Overall, Workhorse has already crushed its $11.5 target price and it's well on its way to crushing its new $26 target price, which I believe is an extremely conservative price target. It's currently at 100% buy based on all analysts, and I personally believe that shares are never going to be this low ever again. I have great expectations for this company, I hope that you do as well. In conclusion, I believe that Workhorse Group has presented us all with a massive opportunity that only comes once in a lifetime. So I hope you all don't miss out on it. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment below what you think Workhorse Group is gonna get up to. Make sure to get your two free stocks with Weeble in the links below. And until next time, bye.